All right. Hello, everyone. My name is Avi Spira, and I apologize for the poor audio and visual in this video. I am filming this on my phone since my main camera is in my office. But over here, welcome to my bedroom instead of your normal office view for the past few videos I've been doing. It has been a while since I filmed a video in here. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you some shirts. Oh, wait, they're over there. Some shirts I got from Indochino. So this suit that I'm actually wearing over here, I got from Indochino actually a year ago for their Black Friday sale. And in today's video, I obviously got some shirts from them. And I'm excited to actually unbox and these are going to be the first ever custom shirts I've ever gotten and I made very slight alterations to each one either the collar size the cuffs that are being put onto the shirts or the monograms are going to be different for each one just to see how accurate they can be with the actual order I wanted to test them as well as get myself some alternate combinations so I know exactly what I want in future shirts for myself either it be custom or regular so what I'm wearing over here, besides the suit that I got from Indochino from last time, if you want to check out that video, by the way, there should be an eye in the top right corner of this video, and you can go ahead and check that out. So over here, I'm wearing a H&M shirt, which I actually got for, I believe, $6. So very affordable. It was on sale. Let me go ahead, take it off. It is a little bit tight in the chest area, but honestly, it is a pretty well-fitting shirt all things considered from the back. It does have a little bit of excess fabric, as you can see there. Uh, so that's usually my biggest complaint with most of my shirts is that there's too much excess fabric, just because I do have kind of a V-shaped body, which I'm happy about. And of course that means the shirts mostly, if they're not slim fit, are gonna be tight in the chest and then a lot of excess over here on the waist. Uh, as for arms, these are pretty good, honestly, really can't complain. Even if I flex, it's it's a little tight, but it's nothing I can't move around with. If I do move a little bit too much this way, it feels like the shirt might rip. So it is a little bit tight in that aspect, and I'm hoping these shirts won't be that tight. Now, since I haven't gone to Indochino in over a year, since when I got the suit that I'm currently wearing, or was wearing, I actually haven't been measured by them in a while. So I'm not sure how up-to-date these measurements are gonna be, but of course, Indochino does offer alterations so if necessary i hope to go in there and get them altered and i will film along just to show you guys the experience of that so let's go ahead go to the unboxing or unbagging of those shirts and take a look at what they shipped us all right everybody so here is the indochino bag as you can see over here it has a few scuff marks probably from shipping of course as long as the scuffs aren't on the actual shirts it does not make a difference to me the shipping label is on the other side so i'm just going to go ahead and cut the bag open from this side And I can see already the three shirts inside of there. I'm just going to pull them out like that. Boom. Okay, so there are the shirts. They seem to be adjusted with this little cardboard thingy. So it says, Indochino makes elegant custom clothing and enables men to achieve great things. Uh, this should just be a push in, pull out tab. Uh, it says Indochino on the other side. That's it. And here we have the shirt. So one, two, and three. All right. Very cool. I got the standard white one with a very, very micro pattern over here. I got two of them with French cuffs since I never wear cufflings enough. So I decided I would get myself some of that. I did get them all with actually a, a spread collar. And then the monogram is really the main difference uh, between these shirts as well. So I actually got these shirts on Black Friday, which was a great deal for me because regularly I believe one of these shirts cost $60 and when you order three of them together they were having a special promotion that you get them for $100 not including tax. So my entire order was $120 but I did use Rakuten which is a cashback portal if you guys are unfamiliar with that. I highly suggest you check them out. I'm going to go ahead and put a link in the description. Not sponsored in any way, it is just a referral link if you guys want to check them out. It is a cashback portal, so essentially if you make an order on certain websites, which includes Macy's, Indochino, even eBay, websites like that, you're automatically going to get 1-20% to 20 back on that purchase, uh, either in PayPal or even a check sent directly to your house. And 
why not? It's free cash, and I don't see how you can get a downside, so if you use my link down in the description, it should have some kind of special where if you make a purchase, you automatically get $20 in cash back, or even more than that, um, depending on the time of year. So, let's go ahead, open up these shirts, and just see what they're like, because I've never had a custom shirt before. Okay. I mean, it's standard packaging. Uh, obviously, these shirts are made for me. It says right here, AVI, my first name, Avi. Uh, in case you don't know that, you should probably hit the subscribe button, and then you'll actually learn how to spell my name, since my channel name is right next to it. So, it's a good idea. Let's go ahead and take off some of the plastic here. There. I got one sleeve out. This is now a straight jacket. Take these plastic tabs. A lot of plastic tabs. Cardboard on the back. And cardboard in the back of collar. Does it come with shirt stays? Yes it does. They say Indochino on them. I can tell just by looking through, so... There you go. In case you guys want a closer look at that. But put that back in there. Hoping these don't fall out super easily from the wash. Because I lose those all the time okay so that is an Indochino shirt this one that I did is a double barrel cuff I believe it's just a, a regular if not spread collar and the monogram as you saw just said AVI only on one collar cuff which is fine that's totally what I wanted so no complaints there um, inside the shirt is a little bit of a gray uh, actually, inside the collar. Of course, no one's going to see that anyway, so that's not a problem. And it just says, made in China. Indochino, made for you. So that is the shirt. And you can make a lot of customization options on their website if you have not checked that out. Uh, if you guys want, I'll also... I'm going to go ahead and put a link down for this specific shirt in the description. So you guys can check it out. Of course, you'll have to use the options that I did. And maybe I'm going to show on the screen right now all the options that I had on the three shirts that I ordered. So I'm going to go ahead, switch back to the other camera view, and then try on the shirt. Alright guys, so here I am wearing the H&M shirt. So just showing you again, the excess fabric. All right, everyone, so this is the Indochino shirt that I'm wearing now. And in terms of fit, it is pretty good. It does feel a lot better than the H&M shirt, but that's also due to the quality of materials being used. So for example, the quality of materials in the H&M shirt, I don't even want to think about how much polyester is there. This should be a lot of cotton, at least mostly cotton. Uh, I can check on the website and put down the percentage right over here for how much cotton it is. And it is very, very nice and just feels really good against the skin. No complaints there in terms of materials. In terms of fit, um, it is a little bit baggy in the back, but it also depends on my posture, of course, in terms of, uh, you know, fat coming off from the sides over here. Not much at all. Really can't complain about that. It is a little tight in the stomach anyhow, so I really don't know how much they can tighten things up on the back without altering this. Uh, and that's due to some quarantine weight being put on there. It is, of course, bulking season being in the middle of the winter, so not cutting season, so there is going to be some excess fat in that area anyhow. On the arms, of course, when flexing, it, you know, it's pretty tight. When not flexing, uh, the sleeve is actually a bit loose, so not sure how much I like that. Maybe tighten that up just a little bit. Not sure if I'll actually make an appointment for that. In terms of chest, I have full mobility over here, which is nice, especially when comparing to the H&M shirts. So that is a big plus. Uh, in terms of the collar, it actually fits a little bit loosely, which I was surprised about. I can easily fit two fingers in there, which is the normal amount of how much space you want your collar to have. And I can easily fit even four fingers in there. So that's not even an issue. And you can hear I'm hardly choking myself by doing that. So. That could be altered a little bit. Can you wear this shirt with two buttons undone? Yes, 100% you can. I'm wearing an undershirt though, so it's not going to display 100% nicely, but you can 100% rock that look if you're into that. And in terms of the monogram, it displays very nicely exactly where I want. Sleeve length, it's 
is actually a little bit, could be a little bit longer, I believe, but really can't complain about this. This is fully extending my arm. You can see my watch face as how it should be exactly showing. Of course, when not fully extending, you can see probably half of my watch, if not a little bit more, you would want to display half the watch, something like this. So I feel like the sleeves could be a little bit longer. Not sure how they would actually alter that. That's not an easy alteration to make in case I go there. Um, in terms of overall fit, I really like it. And honestly, if I had to choose between this shirt and the H&M shirt in terms of price, so I paid $6 for the H&M shirt, I paid $33 for this one, I would go with this one, especially considering if you wanted to tailor an H&M shirt, that would cost you at least another $15. So that would be $21. So I would pay $12 just for the bump up in materials uh, for this shirt. And of course you would have to get another two. So I have not actually tried on the other ones that are still in the packages over there, but that those I'm assuming will feel exactly the same. Of course, being French cuff will feel a little bit different in the arms and probably lengthwise. I can alter that a little bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and try those on next. But if you want to see more videos like this and you want to see the upcoming journey in case I do go to the tailor and get these altered a little bit, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below and hopefully you'll be joining us for upcoming videos. And also be sure to hit that like button just to help out with the YouTube algorithm. And if you enjoyed this video, also comment any questions, concerns or comments that you may have down in the comment section below. And I'll be sure to you know, check those out. I try to answer every single comment. I don't have enough subscribers right now that I can be bombarded, but who knows, maybe this video will blow up. Anyhow, I hope you enjoyed and I hope to see you guys in the next video.